Hello and what is going on today guys, Tomcat here and today we are back in Spitfire's Mud Runner for a unlikely battle between these three trucks. We've got the Hades Duramax, we've got a Dakota Crawler, and we've got the Huntsman 8x8. Now, what these three are going to be doing is they're going to be going head to head in a mudding battle and we've brought them to one of the most formidable mud bogs that I know of, which is actually the swamp section on the bog map, which is actually, a, which is a stock map, which is incredible to me, but this is still one of the most well done mud areas that I've seen in the whole game. So the the challenge is going to be to get from this side over to the fuel station as you know, as quickly as possible. Now, we're going to try a couple of couple of different attempts with each truck, but we're going to try a couple different approaches as well. One approach is going to be approaching extremely fast, just in high, just barreling down on the throttle, and the other approach is going to be in, you know, maybe in low two or low three, if the approach in high doesn't work. So, we're going to start out in the Huntsman 8x8, and we're going to actually have to go ahead and switch to it. But also, uh, to be... Yeah, I was going to say, to be completely fair, we actually brought a repair kit um, in the Dakota. So, what I'm actually going to do is, just so I can start everything with zero damage, we're going to have every single truck at zero. So, I, as you can see, every single truck is 100% fine, 100% good to go. So, back into the Huntsman. I'm going to back up a little bit, give it a little bit of a run-up, and then uh, throw it in high. And we will see what happens. All right, so three, two, one, go. And shift into high. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Uh, it's not going to do it. It's not going to do it. It didn't have enough It didn't have enough momentum to pick it up. We're going to have to leave it in automatic mode for a little bit longer. All right. <laughs> Take two, three, two, one, go. Go, 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 go. Come on, second gear. There's high range. Come on. Come on, this is this is our aggressive style approach. Oh wow. That didn't get anywhere. That literally did not get anywhere at all, and it's not moving. So low three. Low three doesn't even go anywhere. Yo, that's kind of crazy. Okay. Low two is so you have to shift this thing down to low two before it'll even move. Which is insane to me because like normally normally a truck like this would be able to like with tires this big would be able to barrel through mud but that's what i'm saying about how this map has one of the craziest mud sections in the entire game because it's it's so so thick and so intense that there's almost no truck that can hit this in high and just barrel right on through it like it's no big deal um it, it's it's definitely one of the most difficult mud sections in the entire game although i will say that once this thing kind of gets rolling, it's not bad. It gets rolling in low two, it's okay. But you put it up to low three in the thick stuff, or anything above low three, and it will laugh at you and be like, um, you idiot. <laughs> it just, it just laughs at you. It literally will just laugh at you and just kind of tell you off and then tell you to go home because it's not going anywhere. Let's see if it'll do the rest of this in high. The answer to that, my friends, is no. 100% no. Wow, this, this section is difficult. It's very hard. But anyways, regardless, we're... Okay, so we made it to the other side decently quickly, but I was really thinking that this was going to be the truck where the high-range approach will work. And now I know we've seen the Hades Duramax in the mud before, and we know it's not brilliant, so I feel like it's not going to be a, a huge contender for high-range, but it might do really well in low. You never know. And the Dakota, I've never really tried it in the mud. So it could either be absolutely terrible, or it could be the it could be kind of the wild card here because I have no clue what it's gonna do. So let's get down to the fuel station right here, and we'll go ahead and get this thing refueled because it is very low on fuel, and this allows us to complete the run in this particular truck. So it's all refueled and ready to go. And next I'm gonna switch into the Hades Duramax because because I don't know how the Dakota is going to perform, so I'm going to drive this thing first. So, diff lock is on, all-wheel drive is engaged, we're going to hit the mud in high range first, and we'll see what happens. Alright, and let's go! Alright, floored in high, and wow. Look, it's not even, 
It's not even buried halfway to the tires yet. It got to the axles and just said no. Straight up no. It moves a little bit in low three. Moves a decent bit in low two. But it's still like, this truck does not like mud. And anybody that's, which is weird because it's, it's, it's a mud truck. It's supposed to be a mud truck anyway. But anybody that's watched videos with, with this truck before knows that this truck hates mud. And I don't know why it hates mud. It's so weird as to why it hates mud. Um, but because it shouldn't, right? It's, it's very, very, very weird in terms of the, the whole design idea behind it and the, it's like the design idea behind it. It's like you would download this thing and think, oh, it's a mud truck. It needs to go in the mud and, and just, you know, absolutely just rip, throw it at high and go nuts. Throw mud everywhere. That's not the case at all. That's not how this thing works at, like, at all. It's just so, um, it, it's, it's, it's a lumbering beast is what it actually is. It's an absolute lumbering beast. And it's, like, when it's on, like, packed ground, it's actually very fast. But the slightest hint, the slightest hint of soft ground, and it just gives up. It just completely and totally gives up. And I think the grip tuning on this truck, for that reason, I think the grip tuning, at least for the mud, is pretty wrong. I, I, I think it's quite wrong. But there's really not too much, there's not too, too much that you can do about that. I mean, that's up to the modder himself. Um, and I... I, I there's definitely an idea that he wanted with this truck and this this truck you know as it as it is may be what he what he envisioned for it it may not be the best in mud but it's great in other areas and that may be what he envisioned it, in envisioned for it so um i'm not one to criticize uh criticize that i'm just one to to criticize what it does in a certain scenario i'm not saying the mod is bad i'm just saying that it doesn't respond the best in mud so let's go ahead and throw it in high and we'll roar down to the fuel station and call it, call the run complete with this truck. Park it up. And get it out of reverse. And it's refueled. And now it's time for the Dakota. The Dakota is going to be the weird one here. Because I've never run this thing in mud before. I've never gone mudding in it. I've never done any, anything mud related with this truck. I've just crawled in it. So uh, we're about to see. Well, well ooh, almost took that tree out. Well, took the tailgate out with the tree. Well... It had a really enthusiastic start. A really enthusiastic start. It does better than any, any of the others in low three as well. It's a little bit faster than the Duramax. Well, maybe just by a marginal amount, just very, very small amount. Um, but you kind of, like like what like with the others, you have to put it in low two. Uh, you, you really do. And I think that, I think the fastest thing in low two was the Huntsman. I really do. I think the fastest thing in low two was the Huntsman. And honestly... I'm not surprised that it was the Huntsman. I think, I think there's there's a there's a certain degree of the way this game works that will uh, that, that 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 gives vehicles with more wheels and tires kind of a little bit more of an advantage. So I think that there's definitely a little bit of that. But also, you got to think that Huntsman is just crazy. I didn't think that the, uh, I didn't think that the Hades was gonna put up that big of a fight against the Huntsman, but, uh, but, and, and I thought that this thing, actually, in the mildly soft ground, it's, this is very good. You can have it in low three, and it just cruises right along. The, uh, whereas the, the Hades just would, it just, it would just spin right here, so, I think the, the Huntsman, to me, is the winner, and the Dakota, to me, comes second, and the Hades comes last in terms of mudding capabilities, um, and I think that that's I think that's a fair order to put these trucks in because, you know, the Hades would do way better than the Dakota in other areas of a you know of a different map. So it's not that I'm saying it's a better truck altogether; it's just I'm saying it's better in the mud. And I think that kind of gives an idea of what I think my order is. And you can definitely you guys can definitely let me know in the comment section below what you think the best truck is in your opinion. Uh, but personally, for me, it's um, it's the Huntsman up front, then the Dakota, and then the Hades. So, and they're all three at the fuel station, and they all made it. They all made it, but I think they all they all made it with their, you know, each each doing their uh, their respective job. And I think the uh, I think I think the Huntsman did the best. So, if you guys enjoyed this comparison video, don't forget to leave me a like. Tell me in the comment section down below what y'all thought of it. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe for more. And if you want to suggest other trucks for me to do mudding battles with, make sure you also let me know in the comment section below. And I'll see you guys next time. Talk to y'all later.